So as you know, the new Blackmagic Digital Cinema 2.5K RAW camera was announced today. I want to talk about something different than what everyone else is talking about. The camera is great, amazing. Let's talk about uh, anamorphic. I shoot all these videos in anamorphic. This video is in anamorphic. Uh, let's talk about shooting this new camera in anamorphic. So basically the camera has a 15.6 millimeter wide uh, active sensor area while it's recording. Uh, compared to the GH2, it's about a 2.13 crop versus a 1.85 crop, and that's talking in full frame. So the difference between the GH1, GH2, and this new RAW camera is a focal length difference where this is 17 millimeter on that camera it would look like this at about 20 millimeter. So just a slight difference between the two. Let's go back out to 17. Um, the difference itself isn't that huge as you just saw. It's not like it's a really, really tiny sensor. The, the sensors in the Panasonic GH cameras are, are very close to, to Super 35 and this is just a little bit smaller than that and just a hair larger than Super 16. What that opens up is a whole realm of, of lens possibilities that it could possibly cover including C-mount lenses and Super 16 lenses and uh, maybe possibly broadcast two-thirds lenses with uh, tele extenders on them. Uh, we'll have to wait and try them with the camera itself. But one thing, uh, I shoot a lot using the LA7200 and as you know we have an ISO 36 as well as well as a couple of 2X anamorphic adapters as well. But the LA7200 is easiest to use and since it was designed for a smaller sensor originally with the DVX100, the smaller sensor you use the better image that you'll get. So I've calculated that with the LA7200 it probably would be matched best with the Tokina 11 to 16 on this new camera. So if you get that camera in the LA7200 you're going to be able to zoom out to about 12 millimeters. Somewhere in the 12 millimeter range you won't have any uh, junk on the sides of the 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 edges of the lens. And since it's a 1.33x anamorphic ad adapter, your uh, image that will then become about 3,000 pixels wide unsqueezed in a timeline. So when you edit, you should edit probably in a, th a 3K timeline and then do your 1080p master compressions from there or even higher from there. So uh, it should be fairly similar to the image you get from a, a 3K Scarlet. So with the LA7200 with a smaller sensor, you're able to open the aperture more and still have it sharp. Because the wider that you go on a smaller sensor, the LA7200 uh, can become sharper and it can focus closer. You'll also see a reduction in uh, CA on the sides of the lenses. So. I'm really interested in trying the LA7200 and the ISO 36 with this new camera. I think because of its small portable size, I think it'll work great with the LA7200, especially for stealing shots in places you aren't supposed to be shooting, just for fun. Certainly you could do this with a Scarlet, but that's much heavier and bulkier to take around and you're risking a $15,000 camera versus a $3,000 camera. The biggest issue I see with this camera right now is the fact that it comes with a 40 millimeter mount that is for Canon EF lenses and for Nikon F lenses. And because that distance from the sensor, let me find a lens that shows this. Okay, here's a four thirds to PK adapter. So this is a uh, Pentax adapter and it's a, the flange depth is a, probably around 40 millimeters to sensor from here. So with this, because of this distance, we're limited on the new camera to lenses that can only be adapted from Canon EOS or Nikon F. So we won't be able to use C-mount or you'll have a harder time with OCT 18, 19, um, 
other weird lenses that would work better with a smaller sensor. And especially NEX and four thirds lenses will work better with this new camera than any Nikon F or Canon EOS lenses. So I'm hoping they allow an option to use a shorter flange depth, which would basically put you, uh, this is your four thirds flange depth here versus uh, your Pentax full frame, Nikon full frame, Canon full frame. Um, I hope they have a, a four-third or any X option that'll allow us to use those lenses. And I, I think from reading, they probably will at some point. The only other, uh, you can read these things on my blog too. I'll put links below. I've, I've put my opinions and wants for the camera. But uh, just talking about anamorphic alone, I think that this could be a really big actual game changer. I know that term's used a lot now and people hate it, but the sensor itself has a, a native square shape to it. So if we were able to actually record in, in more of a square on the sensor, then you'd even be able to use uh, 2X anamorphic lenses like the, the Loma lenses, which would allow even more possibilities. But in the way that the camera comes alone, I think that the LA7200 will actually rock and fully hit that 2.5K resolution with a smaller sensor. LA7200, plus Tokina 11 to 16. You watch eBay, the LA 7200s right now have gone up to like 1350. Buy it now, they'll probably go up to $2,000 if they work as well as I think they will with this new camera.